taken off. Looking left. Smallwood. That one floated out there and too much air underneath it. Cody Brown took advantage and broke it up. Higher time. And then he comes like a missile, leads with the shoulder, right on time. That is perfectly done from the safety. And he knocks that one out. Cody Brown. He, he, he said he went back as far back as watching Steve Young footage of Mark Tressman early in his career with the 49ers. Ball is popped loose. It's on the ground. Guardians say they have it. Didn't look to me like he caught it, Kev. I, I, I'd be interested to hit, I believe. I think they're giving it to him. Let's see. It looked to me incomplete. It never looked like he caught it. Uh, it's really close. It's close. Well. Knopf runs it. Gets the first down. Keeps the drive going. But probably should have slid. As long as... Oof. Tell you what, man, these defenders, you can tell that they have not been able to tackle anybody for a long time because they have come out here and played physical. And they flip at the Pumphrey. Takes a big smack at the 40 yard line. Stansley, Mapanga, and Godwin Iguabike come up with the big hits. Yeah, and a little jet sweep here to get Pumphrey involved. This is actually an RPO. You'll see on the right side of the screen, number 15, the wide receiver, Shad Ross. He's trying to release upfield, releases a little bit late. Pumphrey opts to keep it. With Brandon Silvers. Silvers to throw. Took a big hit as he throws. It's a beauty of a ball, and it is caught. Dante's Bird went up for it and brought it down. Excellent body control, and that throw was on the money. See the left side of that offensive line missing their starting left tackle, Isaiah Battle. In the XFL opening week, opening game. Here's Prohl down the sideline, got the first down. He was slammed out of bounds. There you go. Out to LaDamian Washington. Gets through the first man. Good blocking on the edge. Washington gets leveled at the 45 yard line. Asante Brown takes him down. Flag on the far sideline. We got a play that extended all the way to the St. Louis bench. Well away from the play on the field. The penalty came on the far side of the play. All the way on the other side of the field. There's one thing that's been in this league is hitting. They have been hitting very hard in every game you watch. Out of the shotgun. Knopf over the middle of the field. Tipped and caught. Nelson Spruce. What concentration by Spruce. And how about the pocket presence from Knopf? He knows he's going to get hit, and he just hangs in. Five wide. Tiamu goes to the out route, and it's dropped off the hands of Ford. And nearly picked off by Dallas. Ruling on the field is an pass. Third pass. It's a low ball coming out to your to your running back Matt Jones, and, and you want your running back to catch the ball out of the backfield. Murray over the middle. And what another great catch and a flag on the hit. Williams hauled it. This is a staple Mark Tressman West Coast play. The tight end's going to run. He's going to pull the Mike linebacker out, and that slot First receiver's got a cross face. Defense number thirty. Unnecessary roughness. Fifteen yard penalty added to the end of the completion. First down. I don't know. That looked like a pretty good hit to me. It looked like uh, it looked like Soro came up and delivered a blow with his shoulder to his side. Let's see. You're going to see here. Reese Warren cross face. Nelson is going to take off, and he gets stuck and up in it at the line of scrimmage. Big time hit for St. Louis's Dexter McCoyle. Try to hit that circle button, Tom. Caught him halfway through it. Now there's a little scrum. Don't hit our quarterback like that, says the Dallas Renegades offensive line. And that's exactly what Coach Hayes told us. They decided not to blitz, so they went eight guys in coverage. It's either all out or all coverage, which means they're going to rush three and keep eight behind. That's a lot, they're going to bring Austin McGinnis back out for a field goal. Here's where Phillip Nelson got laid out. 
Nelson not a great athlete. I, I don't know why you jump in the air in that situation.